Country business owners are worried that a congressional bill will have the power to tank the state's economic growth. Caitlin Ashbaugh joins us now in downtown Charleston to talk about the connections between the tourism industry, Caitlin, and the Durbin Marshall bill. Hey, Rock, when you visit one of some of the low country's hotspots here, including this one, even during the off season of tourism, you're seeing people walk by now. You can just see clearly how much this industry fuels our economy, and that's why Charleston business owners are worried about a piece of legislation that could change that drastically. The Durbin Marshall Credit Card Bill or the Credit Card Competition Act would change the regulations surrounding credit card transactions and how they're processed. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin says the goal is to enhance competition and choice for merchants and consumers by limiting access to big brands like Visa or MasterCard. The bill is similar to one passed by Congress in 2010 for debit cards, eliminating rewards programs and setting strict limits on the use of certain debit card transactions. If the same happens here, Charleston business owners say it could mean less visitors to the Holy City and it could take the economic impact in millions of dollars. These point programs help fund the airline tickets, help fund the hotel stays, and so it's going to dramatically impact the number of people coming to Charleston, which will flow through to the small business owners in downtown Charleston and all across the low country. Now I reached out to Senators Tim Scott and Lindsey Graham for their thoughts on this bill. Neither of them responded to a request for comment. Live in downtown Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.